Hello and welcome to the Red Coat Rundown. I'm Charles. And I'm Zach. This month we are celebrating Black History Month. Some of the Black Olympians competing in this year's Olympics are Lena Taylor competing in bobsled and Aaron Jackson competing in speed skating. The first Black Olympian to win a gold medal was John Baxter Taylor in the One Mile Relay Team event. John Taylor was also the first African American athlete to complete, compete in the Olympics claiming gold in 1908 London Olympic Games. Now let's go over to Sam with this week's upcoming events. Thanks, Zach and Charles. This week we are starting a new segment that will require input from students. We will be starting a weekly poll and asking the students about their favorite places to go and school activities and other things of interest in, here in Berlin. This week our questions are, which course that you have taken would you recommend to others? And our second question is, what course do you wish you had taken sooner or at all at BHS? Please respond and next time we will be talking about some of our top responses. The poll will be posted this week on Schoology. Our first reminder is that anyone interested in boys baseball should go to the informational meeting after school in the cafeteria on Wednesday, February 16th. Also, Berlin Parks and Rec is accepting applications for the following summer positions, aquatic director, summer fun director, and assistant summer fun director. Applicants must meet our age requirement and other required qualifications. Do you have a story to tell that will inspire, entertain, or enlighten other people? Check out the website for the Random Acts of Kindness Club new project humans of VHS. We are in need of students and teachers who are willing to tell their stories of hardship, perseverance, dedication, talent, and etc. We can't wait to hear all of yours. On February 14th, seniors can join Ms. Crinity for a scholarship workshop in the counseling department at 215. That's all for this week's upcoming events. Back to Zach and Charles. Thank you, Sam. This week, our school athletes did an amazing job to win multiple games. Here are the results of last week's matchups. Great job and congratulations to all who participate. Let's go down to Maddie and Michael at Sports Corner for this week's upcoming sports news. Hi, I'm Maddie and I'm here to give you the latest on men's swim and dive. Men's varsity swim will play against the co-op team Buckley on Wednesday, February 16th at Maloney High School at 345. On Friday, February 18th, the swimmers will also play the co-op team Bristol Central Eastern St. Paul at Dennis Malone Aquatic Center at 345. Let's take a look at one of the players now. I'm here with Adam Galvin, Marcel Debeck, Matt Jamrozek, Adrian Folstra, the men's swimming team captains. So guys, I was wondering what was some what were some goals you wanted to accomplish this year? Um, my biggest goal personally was to reestablish the feeling of a family and a brotherhood throughout the team. Uh, it kind of got decayed a little bit last year because of COVID and we couldn't bond as much, but it's slowly but surely coming together and it's really nice. And what would you say are some challenges with being the captains of the swim team? Well, definitely, like uh, Adam said, getting that sense of family back again and uh, getting all the freshmen like into the swing of things. And our main goal is like just to win all the meets and get our best times. And how would you say the team interacts now as opposed to the beginning of the year? It was a lo it's a lot better. There's uh, stronger bonds and everyone's getting together. It's an all pretty good feeling. And can you tell me a little bit about your upcoming meet? Yep, our upcoming meet is going to be against Buckley, and we're really excited. It's going to be next Friday. Perfect. Thank you, guys, and good luck on the rest of your season. Thank you. Congratulations to all the swimmers and divers this year, and good luck with the rest of your season. Thanks, Maddie and Michael, for that swimming update. Zach, do you hear about the two brand new sports being introduced in this year's Olympics? Making its debut to the Olympics is Monobob and Free Ski Big Air. Wow, the Monobob and Free Ski Big Air sound interesting. I can't wait to watch them and good luck to all our American athletes competing in this year's games. Also, congratulations to all of the January students of the month, including our very own Charles. Thank you, Zach. 
Shout out to the other three students recognized for student of the month. Great job to Evan Chant from 10th grade, Jackie Chase from 11th grade, and Ju Juliana Holiday from 9th grade. Let's go over to this week's showcase with Nora and Sam. Hi, this is Nora and Sam with this week's Red Coat Rundown Showcase. First, we'll be interviewing another member of this year's musical, Into the Woods. Hi, I'm Nora, and I'm here with Emily Kovis, a participant in this year's school musical. Hey, Emily, what's your role this year in the musical? So I'm in the both the cast and crew. So I'm Baker's wife in the show, and I'm also helping with crew, with builds, and any technical details. And what would you say is the hardest part of juggling both cast and crew? So doing both cast and crew can be really busy and a bit complicated, but I will say it's entirely worth it with the community we have here and all the work I've been able to get done. Thanks, Emily. Since core selection is coming up even closer, we're going to be taking a closer look at the electives offered in the tech ed department. Welcome to the tech ed department. Once again, we have two really great recommendations if you are thinking about taking a tech ed course. First is Intro to STEM Design. It's a great course if you want to learn CAD, computer-aided design, and work with a bunch of amazing teachers. And the second one is TV production. You might have seen last semester, there was a bunch of videos similarly going out. In TV production, you have the ability to make all of these great videos and learn so much about recording and television and reporting. Thanks for watching this week's showcase. See you next week. Bye. Thanks, Sam and Noir, for that update on course registrations and theater. And now for the quote of the week. Your impact on others is bigger than you think. Someone still smiles and think of the compliment you gave them. Someone silently admires you. The advice you give has a difference for people. Your existence makes a positive difference whether you see it or not. Thanks for watching the Red Coat Rundown. Have a great day.